Born to score. I grew up here. Like I just love it. There's like nothing wrong with it, so. I'm You're obviously proud of your roots, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I mean, as I said before, I mean, Toxic's got a bad name now, but I mean, because I grew up here, I can see nothing wrong with it. It is one of my all houses here, that, that grey thing there. That big white pipe weren't there when, that weren't there when I was living there, that big white pipe. The next door neighbour as well, I was, I think I was chasing after that little lad there. And like, he was being that cheeky to me and that, and I've run after him with the ball. And like, I volleyed the ball right at him. And I was, like, left he, or right foot? Left, and, and, he, and he sort of ducked in that. And um, he ducked, and it went right through the window. I'm sure the window shattered, <laughs> that, that window there, and like it, the ball ended up in the, um, I think it ended up in the washing machine. <laughs> then I, like, I just sort of jumped over the fence and, and sort of hid in, in our bin shed and that. Let's talk a bit about your football. Come, as a kid, who did you support when you were playing in the streets around here? Who were you? Coming from Liverpool, and all families are mixed, and I have them support Everton and I have them support Liverpool. And, um, I grew up in Evertonian, and it was mainly because of my dad. My dad used to go everywhere and want to see Everton that for like things happening like I'm Liverpool through and through now. My dad, like he's a Liverpool nut. I mean he'd tell you anything now. I mean he's like been to more or less every, every every Liverpool home and away game the past um, three years, so I can support Liverpool and the hundred percent behind them all away. The when he scores I jump up at any goal tapping long distance or whatever. You must be the proudest dad in Liverpool, eh? Well, I'd say I'm a dog, I don't like it. Hi, Tina. Hi, June, right? Was she around when you were... Jim! Let's go around here. Yeah, she's my lollipop. I used to cross her over. Did you? I was a good lad, though. Oh, he's a good lad. Are you going to see him across the road? Because he's a big international superstar. Oh, well, I don't no, think... You know they're not capable of crossing <laughs> the road for themselves. Can you see him, a... Can you see him across for us? Well, uh... Go on, then. How many goals do you want to score? Go on, Rob. We're not... How many goals do you want to score? How many do you think? Thank you. All right, lad. See you. About 51 like he did last year. Oh, 51? Oh. He scored 51 goals last year. Yeah, happy, lad. There's a spare pitch over there. All right, you're going to go centre. One more, then. All right, all right. No, it's too good. Would it be... Would it be fair to say it's a burning ambition to play for England? It is. I mean, I've grew up, sort of, I mean, I mean, if you get a few sort of people wanting to play for Ireland because they've got Irish grandparents, I mean, I'm English through and through. I don't... I've, Probably I've got a bit of Irish in me or whatever, because everyone seems to have on that. But I mean, I've, I've always wanted to play for England, a full stop. So there's a chance that Jack Charlton's successor, if he was quick, he could get in there. I don't think so. I mean, I've, I've played for um, England under under 18s, under 21s, England B, and, like, and I want a full cap now. So how desperately do you want that full cap? Very desperately. I think Terry Venables has checked on you a few times, hasn't he? I mean, the manager said that. He's given you his recommendation. I think so, but I mean, every time he comes to watch me, I, I have a bit of a stinker. So I mean, he's got to you know, sort of come and catch me on on a good day. I think Rushy's the ones probably has made him mature, as you say, on the field. Rushy tells him where to go and where not to go. And if he does well, he does well. If he doesn't, Rushy will tell him. You say. I wake up in the morning, as you say, and I'm in, I'm like everyone else. I, I dream like everyone else. I just can't believe it. Looking at him now, he looks like a schoolboy, doesn't he? Them, them kids are not far underneath him if you look at him like, but uh, there's a long way to go yet. Yeah. But if he does half as much as what Ian Rush has done, I'll be proud of him again. I'm through. Whew. Terry Venables was watching at Stamford Bridge, but he must have had his mind on other things to ignore Robbie Fowler's England claims.